Hello there, welcome to Wastelands Raceway. Today I'm going to do a build. This build is in response to a competition that my friend Armstrong from Mad Eye Miniatures has put out. The closing date is approaching very, very rapidly. Um, and so I've randomly selected a car out of the back I featured the other day. So I've got this one, which is, what's it called? The Governor. Um, now, quite handily, it's a plastic body car, which will make things a little bit easier, I think, for the build. Um, I'm going to try and do it as a one session build, just get it knocked out in one. This is for two reasons. Firstly, I ain't got a lot of time. <laughs> and secondly, most of Armstrong's builds on Mad Eye Miniatures are quick, speedy, knock them out kind of builds. So, in honor of that style if you like i'm going to try and do the same with this one so this hopefully won't be a very long video and hopefully it will just be a bang quick knock it out um quick and quick and dirty build so uh, wish me luck let's get started so as it's a plastic bodied car taking the base away from the main body should be a much easier process because the rivets themselves will actually be the plastic of the body um, so, uh, rather than drill it, I'm just going to try and dig it out with a pair of scissors. Um, this is probably going to be very dangerous and I have injured myself so many times whilst hobbying. Um, don't try this at home, um, unless like me, you're a bit of a dick. Um, but it seems to be working quite well. So yeah, there you go, nice and easy. Who needs a drill? So, I've taken this out because I don't want the solid yellow windows in there. Um, I want to do something else with them. The color of the body, I quite like. It's a purple. I'm gonna keep the purple base. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna take those tampos off or keep them in there at the moment. Um, I will probably keep them in there, I think. Um, but just maybe scuff them up a little bit. Yeah, so it's a nice body. What we have got here is a bit of a bit of a flat shelf on the front there. So I think some kind of ram or spikes is going to go in there. Um, I might just drill straight into the body and have some machine guns protruding from the front there. Um, I've got a similar sort of shelf type arrangement at the back, which I might do something with. But yeah, it's a it's a fairly basic muscle car type shape. I'm not gonna to do too much messing around with it. So here we go, stage one. I have just literally just sprayed a matte, um, clear matte coat onto the body. Uh, let's just give it a slightly better base for any painting that I'm gonna to do to, um, to take. And I've black bombed the underside, everything, just, just to make it black, um, because I've got an idea for that, you'll see later. Um, but. There you go, so far, stage one, that's done. Just wait for things to dry. I've masked this off, um, central stripe. Um, you just use normal painter's masking tape. And all I'm doing at the moment is dabbing an off-white base coat on there. At the moment. I'm using a sponge. Um, this is a technique I've used before, and it's worked quite well. Now you do get a very slight um, texture in the paint. Um, but I don't think that's a, a major issue. This is just a base coat, just to try and get something lighter than the purple down, because this strikes from the yellow, probably yellow grading into a sort of a lime green color. So there you go, that's the first undercoat done. I'll let that dry. I may well again do another sponging just to get a slightly more complete base coat on there and then come in with the yellow and see what we can do with that. Okay, so using the same technique, at this time with a, a bright yellow um, going over the stripe now so hopefully the the lighter base coat will mean that when the yellow goes on it's it's more vibrant um, it will probably take a couple of coats to get a decent coverage but we'll see I might need to tidy it up the final coat probably with a brush um, just to just to get it a little bit smoother. Yeah. So here's the stripe now. After I've done some, try to do some blending. It, it's it's all very rough, but I guess it will do for the time being. Um, 
So here we have the car so far. Um, yeah, it works for me. So let's keep going. Okay, so uh, I've tidied up the side of the stripes um, and I put some weathering and chipping on there. Um, and you can see I've painted some purple across the across the stripes, etc. Um, just to show damage to the paint, damage to the car. Now, where I've got some of the larger scratches, as you can see, I put a little bit of highlight on one edge of the scratch. Um, so let's have a go where I've left it out. Um, The idea is to try and make the scratch look a bit more 3D by showing a highlight where the light would catch one side of it. Um, I think I've got limited success. It's not a technique that I'm overly familiar with. I mean, I know it happens. I know people do it. But it's not something I've particularly practiced a lot. I think it's all right. Right. So that's what I've done. I've just tried to get a bit of damage to it. Also, if you see, just paint a little bit of chipping on the on the decals on the side there. Um, and just trying to show a sort of pattern of wear and tear on the uh, on the paintwork. Rather than painting it with stripes, I'm just kind of dotting it on just to give it again a slightly more jagged or random look. Try not to do too much, just enough to look like a bit of damage, a bit of wear and tear. So. That's where we are so far. I've just uh, turned my attention to the base, which I had painted black. I've just dry brushed a bit around the edges just to give it a bit of a metallic sheen but without being too shiny, including this front piece here, because that is going to show through the hole in the front there. Um, and also the exhaust pipe bits on the back or whatever they are. Um, these two pegs show in there, so I painted them red so they'll show through that. Um, in addition, I'll just put some silver around the edge of whatever these pipe things are. Um, and I've painted a white stripe in that um, recess underneath the, um, the boot or trunk. Um, I've got an idea for that. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with that is... Um, going to run some of the army painter speed paint in that recess just to see how it works um, obviously we established you don't really want to be painting whole panels with them um, with the speed paint um, for reasons that showed up on my review video so I'm just going to wash it flood it into that recess and see what it does Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Um, let's clean it up a little bit. So that's given it quite a nice look at the rear, I think. I'm also going to try and use the speed paint as a bit of a pin wash. Just see how that works in the recesses, if I can keep it into the recesses alone. matter I haven't ruined the car so yeah so far so good so this is the whole car clipped together so far um, yeah I quite like the rear end that's uh, 
pretty much how I envisage, envisaged it. Um, yeah, so a fairly basic build and paint job so far. Um, I'm fairly happy with the basis now. What I'm probably going to have to think about now is, is um, how to armour it and weapon it. Um, so let me give that some thought. And uh, because it's a plastic body, certain things are slightly more possible. So what I've done with this one, I've drilled a hole through just the inside of where the dashboard would be. And I've snipped myself off a piece of this, which is floristry, sort of flower arranging clips you can get in a craft shop for next to nothing really. Um, loads of them. So I've cut off a length. What I'm going to do, or try to do, is see if... So glue that in place in there so then I've got a support running down the middle of the windscreen half windscreen the driver's side will be mesh the other side will be armor plate um, so that's that bit also um, I've cut myself off some bits of um, medication blister pack so I've got a, a panel that will be some sort of textured armor on the back window there um, and I've done similar for the two side windows that will slip inside that side window and I've got another piece cut for the other side um, so that will go in once they've been painted and also I've used my special top secret patented um, coffee pot aluminium foil to make a panel that's going to go on the back here like that um, and one that's going to go on the front there like that um, so yeah, I'll get those painted and stuck on. Hopefully they'll look halfway decent. Okay, so I have cut to size, shaped, black painted and dry brushed with uh, silver, no, sort of gunmetal colour, the window um, armour pieces, or at least the side and rear window armour pieces. So let's get those stuck on. So I've got the two side windows in and a kind of a tombstone arrangement at the back. I've also stuck the um, riveted arm plates front and back used from made from aluminium foil. Now I've sized this back bit slightly wrongly so I'm going to get a knife and, and trim that down so you can see the, the red light at the back. Um, but yeah that's good. I'll drill two holes in the front. They're going to take machine guns. Um, and I'm going to work out what I can do ram wise on the front here. So yeah, taking shape. So here you go then, the uh, more or less finished car. Um, windows are corrugated cardboard, um, a piece of florist wire in the middle and then tool, twill, um, mesh as the windscreen mesh. The, um, the two machine guns in the front are off cuts from a COVID lateral flow test swab. Um, this piece of armor here and in the back is um, foil from the top of a coffee coffee tin. Um, the window armor, the back and sides, is cut from a um, plastic the tablet blister pack. The ram in the front is made from just a scrappy off cut of old plastic hard bit of it left over here um, just cut down um, and in the front here let me see the front I've got a couple of bars they're getting their florist wire cut to shape holes drilled in the in the body of the car and, and stuck in there um, the paint job you've seen all I've done in addition to that is Gone in with some rust coloured paint to rust it up in places um, and added a dry brush of dusty colour on the sides, front and back. And that, my friends, is the finished car that I shall be submitting for the, uh, the competition being run by um, Armstrong of Mad Eye Miniatures. Um, I'll get them on the spin table, on the turntable now and, and get a few glamour shots in. Um, and that's it. A nice, uh, relatively easy job. 
Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and do enjoy the um, the glamour shots coming up next. So here we have the finished car, all battered and beaten and weathered. Um, I think I would be running it as a performance car um, in a game. Question is, what team does this seem to suit? Who do we think would be sponsoring this car? Um, if you've got any ideas, then drop them in the comments below and let us know what you think. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this build. I certainly did. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.